Most people will never get this. So you read a comment, right? Yeah. Okay, and a comment said, you not understand the concept of homeschooling. What if them not have CXC? What if them this or that? Well, what them not understand about full concept of homeschooling, all right, is the whole idea is to get away from slavery, all right? Is to teach the children them a form of education that is that allows them to escape the nine to five slavery but everybody is caught in i think that's normal and actually should be yeah so we are trying to teach them if you are work for anybody else whether an individual or a corporation you're a slave all right you might not want to look at it that way you might want to feel like you're an accountant but you're actually a sure. slave if you don't work you don't get paid all right so we're trying to teach them how to be slave masters <laughs> well, you're either a slave or you're a slave master, all right? And I'd rather be a slave master than a slave okay. any day. Because you can be a good slave master or you can be an awful slave master. Okay. But a slave is a slave and the slave always depends on receiving sure. it. All right? So we're trying to teach them what you need. Because school don't teach you how to be a slave master. It teaches you how to be sure. a slave. Okay. So if you want to be a slave master, don't go to school. Okay. Don't send your kids to school if you want them to be a slave master. <laughs> if you want them to be a slave, send them to school okay. and they'll learn how to regurgitate information when they're called upon. All right? But if you want them to think for themselves, create something that they can pass on to the generations that will build wealth for them, now send them to go to school. All right? And so, my, more of my kids nothing have to be slave. So, that's why we are trying to track where we depend. And we're not guaranteed anything, but one thing we know, say, them pants, they're not draw down and show them back it. Okay. All right? <laughs> and when we tell them to do something, them do it. And all of them around me, we can't count for them, we can't count for where them are done. Yeah? And we give thanks Which is we important. Yeah. Okay. So, so now, we don't want to know if you feel like um, being a slave master means that you don't work for other people. Because you can't master over anybody unless you've mastered whatever you have And this mastered, is very important. Right? So, it is to work for other people as long as you're going to learn a set skill. It's necessary yeah, to master over anybody. So, I believe in a like where people do apprenticeships and learn a skill. That will carry them through and that they can pass on. And my real belief, if you want to ask me, I really believe about education. I think every individual, whether they go to high school or college or not, will learn a practical skill. Whether it is like plumbing, welding, anything well, practical and useful. Yeah, everybody needs to learn that. Because that's how well, I salt and backbone a society. Yeah, but if you go to school, I know too many young men and young women who graduate high school sit around because during the formative years they never did a learn a skill. They learn to sit on them butt and use them brain to do absolutely nothing. All right? Shuffle around numbers and words and regurgitate useful in, useless information. Where if them did learn one skill, when they graduate high school, them could have earned money right away. Enough people graduate high school and them don't know what them really want to do when them go to college. Or you're going to get indebted in a college and you don't really know where you want to do. So if you had a skill, you could be earning until you figure out exactly where you want to do. All right? And if you never want to go to college, you could be earning. Me know a young man, when I was in high school, he get kicked out in my 10th grade and he went to reform listen school. Listen this, listen this. After that, he got to prison. All right? He had no college. He didn't graduate high school. Now, when me leave college and come back home, this young man had 27 people working for him. He owned multiple apartment buildings. All right? So, on a school, are the ingredient for success. All right? You have to street smart. You have to learn how to do business. You have to learn how to satisfy the wants. All right? Yeah, and the needs of customers. You can't just have your idea and not go push that down people's throat and think that people know what they need. And so when you give people what they need, people give them money. True. And so I believe in uh, studying people's psychology, understanding their needs, and you have to always have a market for your product. Yeah. So next question. 
When you say accountant, yeah, slave. But now if you work for yourself as an accountant. If you own an accounting firm, all right? And you don't have to go to work because you have a lot of accountants and managers running your accounting firm. You're not a slave. But if you have to get up every day and go to work, even if you own the business, it's still a slave. It's a slave to your own yep. business. And you're not really free from the business until you have people that do every single step along the way. And whatever left over is yours. True. All right? And if you're smart enough, you're creative in a way, but enough have got left over. So you never have to even think about work. Yeah? So you have to create a system where you can come out of it totally and still profit. That is how you escape slavery. And as long as you, you know, create that system, if you have to get up and go to work every day, you're still a slave. So I think because you start a small business, you escape slavery. You just become an even worse slave because you have to work 18, 20 hours a day in that business. You have to create it in a way where you can come out of it 100% and your business still operate and I'll make your money. I challenge that to life. Mm. If you have a really good IQ and you're very smart, Outside of like book smart, intellectual smart, you can make that happen. So many people have master's degrees and PhDs, and they still have to get up and go to work because your brain is a pea brain. You only know how to regurgitate, yeah. it. you don't know how to think, and you don't know how to react to what the market wants. All right, so you can only go and apply for a job from somebody else that is going to pay you. All right, so no matter how many degrees you get, you're still going to be a slave. You only break free when you create a system that pulls you out of slavery. Okay. Thank you very much. Sweet facts. Yeah, peeps. Let me know what you think about this. If you agree or you disagree, are we still slaves?